coming to you live from the Cat House in Montebello, California. It's Dre's Geek Philosophy Podcast, the Monday edition, the October 21st edition, the we're 10 days from Halloween edition. It's episode 144, one fo fo. Fo, 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 baby on the flow. That's what we got to worry about with our little boy in the, in, in the, in, under the hood. Boop, boop. Okay, that's better. How did I do a quick camera adjustment there for those of you watching on Facebook Live? And we're here again. And, uh, woo! We're at the cat house. We're at the cat house. You know, I, I was telling one of my coworkers with the, cat. with the cat, there's literally our beautiful cat, <laughs> Tina, who normally hides all the time. Yeah. It's just that uh, she decided to plop down there because we. She wants to be on camera this she time. Wants, she, wants to, she wants to get her 15 minutes of internet fame. <laughs> if you're watching the video version, if you watch on, you can always watch on Facebook Live. A lot of people not live at the moment. Oh, nope, there's Mike Lee. There's one person watching live right now. Hi. Remember, you can always catch us on Facebook Live. You can, uh, Support our Patreon. Uh, there'll be there's links in the in the video. There's links to our Etsy shop. All that stuff. I, I forgot. Like a lot of podcasts get all that stuff out of the way in the beginning. I usually end with that. I don't yeah. know how many people actually get to the end. Oh. Etsy shop, Dre's Geek Philosophy, where you can buy stuff, which several people did this uh, past weekend. We got our mm -hmm. first Etsy sales this past week. I, oh. I sold some stuff that from our from the catalog I posted, yeah. and another friend of mine, uh, she requested a couple pieces. For herself and her husband some so custom pieces. some custom pieces I, I got one of them done I'll, I'll probably post it on a on Instagram either tonight or tomorrow though the custom piece I got finished for those of you you, you hardcore gamers it's from Chrono Trigger it's, yes. pretty, it's pretty fun getting an Etsy order in huh yeah it is it's very exciting like yesterday I was just like you know sitting and all of a sudden I got the notification on my phone it's like whoa so-and-so bought something on your Etsy I'm like what I sold something something yeah. sold yeah. this is awesome <laughs> is it one of my old Nintendo friends uh, mm -hmm. he used to work for Nintendo and I guess he decided to support the show. Yay. Remember, you can always support the show, either financially, through our Patreon, or you can support us by liking, sharing, um, commenting. Yeah, if you're if you're watching live, comment. Even if you're not watching live, a lot of people like to comment after the fact anyway yeah. and leave me some notes yeah. uh, on the show. I was yeah, and then Daniel Wong, our, our, our patron, <laughs> our one patron, Daniel Wong now is watching here. Thanks, Daniel. <laughs> Thank you for being a patron. Remember, many of you can join Daniel Wong being patrons as well. But remember, always share, like, subscribe if you don't want to contribute financially. But yeah, this past weekend, I was telling my coworkers, this felt like an incredibly long weekend. I don't know about you, honey. I, I don't know if it was just because we were busy. I love a long weekend, and if it just felt like it, I love it. It was only two too. days. It wasn't like we had a Monday off. No. And like we, had, we, we both had long Fridays. Mm -hmm. And uh, and it was just, for whatever reason, these last two days felt like three, and that was nice. It was, I, like I was saying this morning, oh, I felt like I haven't been at work for like three or four days, yeah. when it really was just two. Was oh, just, like why? What happened? I don't know, I don't know what happened. Where did your time go? Did you uh, Jeremy Bear me it? Uh, yes, uh, I, I, yes, I, I jumped into Jeremy Bear me. I jumped into the eye in Jeremy Bear me. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it was just, uh, it was insane this past weekend. Uh, we, we were very busy, you and I. Oh yeah. Quite busy, we ran oh, around, yeah. especially yesterday. Yesterday we ran around uh, the the free the free world. Yeah. You you had to go make a delivery. For, hey, remember Rosa Lee Meow if you want some custom clothing. Yeah. Well, maybe after the baby's born, right? Yeah. Now, you're like the the shop is closed. Right it, now it's I'm hard to sew while pregnant. On, I'm just gonna focus on making the cloth diapers. Making the cloth diapers. Yeah. We're we're taking the the dive into going. Uh, cloth diapers. Cloth diapers. Yeah. So if anybody has any. Tips if you have any tips or advice about that. in regards to cloth diapers, I, my, my boss at work, he, he, he did it for his first kid. Uh, yeah? Yeah. He's like, yeah. get a bidet. Will that do. Was the, that was the number. I keep forgetting to ask him what the, what brand I should get or what yeah. model bidet yeah. should be used for that type of nonsense. I love it. Like, the the baby's going to have a bidet. See, Daniel wants as brave you are. Yes, we, we are we're brave. Uh, yes. The, I believe uh, my friend Lamar said, I'm not coming to your house for two years. No, Lamar. <laughs> I'm not coming anywhere near our house. What if we have a specialty baby karaoke night, Lamar? Come on. It's going to smell like crap. <laughs> no, That's what he's going to say. <laughs> your house is going to smell like poo. A little trick him. We'll say, no, we actually started getting regular diapers. <laughs> Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna no, be an adventure. Yeah, so we had that going. You were doing you, you, you had that. a custom order, and then after the orders I received, we had to go we had to go out and buy a but I had to buy some more colors yeah. for the complete the custom Chrono Trigger order I yeah. had for for my Perler Beats Etsy shop Dre's Geek Philosophy, 
Uh, and yeah, we were doing all the shopping when we and we had uh, we had dinner at Kenter's. That Kenter's. Was, that was nice. Yum 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 yum. Yeah, it was. The a, baby loves Kenter's the, pickles. The, yeah, <laughs> she ate like the entire plate of pickles ate that they had at Kenter's. Of them. <laughs> she was just like, no regard for pickle life. I was like, Pickle Rick, no, and she was just like, I'm nom nom nom. nom. I was like, I'm Pickle Rick now, bitch. Yeah, you are Pickle Rick. <laughs> Good lord. And then we visited your brother, and then we came back home, and then you passed out, and I proceeded to make the uh, mm -hmm. the Etsy order last night. I was making it one, yeah. one beat at a time. It was, yeah. a, it was pretty cool. It's, it's completed over there. I, I just want to send a picture before I do the ironing and fuse it permanently. I'm going to send a picture to, to the clients and yeah. be like, is this to your liking? Before before we fuse this, and, it's, and it's, it cannot be undone, I'm going to make sure... Yeah. The client uh, likes what what I've done. I made some color choices because I, yeah. I still was limited in some of the colors. You get the creative. Uh, uh, what is it? The, what is the creative it? control. Yeah, creative there you go. <laughs> Why didn't control come to my mate? My brain. Yeah, some creative control, but like, I, I, as as a bit of an uh, aspiring artist, I, I'm still I'm not happy with the final product. It looks really good to a normal person. To me, I'm like. Uh, if I just had that other color, uh, if I just, such it just, an artist. it just, it doesn't look perfect so enough. It doesn't look right. Not right. It's just not right. I don't know. Maybe after I fuse it, it'll look better. Don't I don't torture know. yourself. I'm it's constantly done. tortured. It's, Get it's it out done. the door. Gotta, yeah, I'm just Stop. gonna iron it. I'm gonna send the photo, make sure the client is happy, and then boom, out yeah. the door. It's not yours. It's custom orders. Their call. I mean, it's, yeah. it's their call. Yeah. I always forget, especially when it comes to any form of my art, whether I'm drawing or doing something. I always, I, I always think what I do is absolute garbage. But whenever I hand something over to someone who, at, like, I used to do a lot of commission. Uh, yes. Uh, drawings. I, I would join uh, the uh, Street Pass Los Angeles mm -hmm. or Street Pass Orange County. I would go to their little events. I'd yeah. set up a table and I would draw. It was my way of challenging myself and forcing myself to get better. People, all right, what would you like me to draw? And many times it'd be Nintendo characters, but sometimes mm -hmm. I'd get challenged. Uh, There's this one drawing of the comic book character Venom, which is like it, uh, that's one where I actually acknowledge. You know, I actually did good, considering that like it was like the time constraint because I was. Just, just quick right. drawing. Right. I was doing like quick drawing and yeah. quick inking. Right. I was kind of going overboard. I could have just done pencils. And I'm sure everyone would have been happy about like, no, they must be inked afterwards. <laughs> and if I had my colored pencils, I would color it in a bit. It's venom. It's venom. And it, it actually looked great. Yeah. And it's on my Instagram, Dre GP Podcast. You can go scroll back. You can find uh, some of my art. I haven't been drawing for a while because the thumb still is not 100%. The last time you it's did getting... that was uh, at the Pomona Zine Fest, Yeah, right? I, I was drawing. you did custom covers. I was doing custom zine. covers for my, my old uh, Dragon Ball Super Abridged uh, mm -hmm. little zines. Yeah, like, I, yeah. I've, been, I've kind of been itching to draw. It's like uh, that custom order that I got, it, I got to do a little bit of kind of grid-based drawing, like filling in some blocks trying to like have my template. That way I'm not just staring at a phone yeah. the entire time trying to do the pixels. Yeah. But, yeah, it was it was a crazy like I, I, yeah. Yesterday felt like it had more than twenty four hours. Uh, yesterday felt like it had thirty six hours in it. I don't yeah. know if there's some sort of moon thing. If some uh, people like that would be like you know the position on the moon. It felt like there was an extra twelve hours in the day yesterday. At least in my mind. Wow. Because uh, we we had this, we had our, our aqua aerobics. We we go to the local college and we put us both in the pool primarily. It's so it's easier for her. she can still get a workout without. Anti gravity, pre anti -gravity not too, so too much pressure on the on the bibis yeah. and her hips and yeah. of, you know all all those moms out there you know you know your body goes through like fifteen beating. million changes of beating. But but let me get to our first topic of today. Well, let me all let me sabotage that. So apparently, right before we came on the air, Star Wars trailer for the Rise of Skywalker came on. Good God, mm -hmm. that just uh that just popped up on the internet. I'm like, well, we're gonna have to talk about it. I well, so we took. Two, three, two and a half minutes to watch it right before yeah. the show. I don't know. I don't, you know, that's something I've never asked. Wife, I know we would have been married. How big of a Star Wars person are you? You're are gonna, you very you're casual? You're to divorce me now? No, no, no. <laughs> I say this no, without judgment. No. I just say this out of curiosity. Where I... I'm wondering, like, how, what is your position on, on the, the War of the Stars? Of all of them, I mean, uh, it's just a nostalgic feeling to... to be like Empire Strikes Back and just mm -hmm. to get so you've the, seen them like yeah. yeah yeah but I think you're, 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 it didn't it didn't make sense to me because mm -hmm. it skipped around but oh but. because you know they had the four five and six were first and then one two and three and then we're finally getting a seven eight nine now yeah, uh, yeah. And, and it didn't I don't know it's something I love the the view the vision I love the costumes and the set design and the 
from an you artist's know, point of view, you would love a lot of the stuff. It all, the beautifulness of it all. But the actual storylines, I wouldn't know one from the other. Oh, okay. I can't register it in my brain. So, like, unlike me, where, like, if I were to just put up a random clip of one of the movies, you'd be like, wow, I don't know which Star Wars that no, is. No, I wouldn't. I would, honestly, you know. Mm-hmm. Oh, and that's okay. No, I, I, I say, we are not here to judge. I, I, I I will judge other things, but I'm not going to judge you on your uh, on your on your Star Warness. I mean, I, I I obviously I have watched all of them. I have poured over them. I I'm a big dirt. I really do enjoy me a good Star Wars. Right. Uh, I love, like when we were watching that trailer, I was like, there are so many things going on. Like it's, I, I feel like both of us had different reactions. You're like, that's a lot of things happening. And I'm like, oh my god, there's so many things happening. I'm yeah, like, I'm, like, <laughs> I'm just like, there's a lot of things happening, and you're like going into detail. Like about I'm like looking at character. everything. I'm just oh, okay, cool. There's that. There's that. There's that. There's that. There's a yeah. lot of stuff happening. Yeah, and then you gave us, they gave us more like the that sinister voice that you heard. That was Emperor Palpatine. Because somehow, some way, I mean, in the because. I can see all the calculations and equations above your head happening all yeah, the time. Yeah, I was that so meme of like... that, of the lady where just all the numbers around <laughs> yeah, her. Yeah, and that's you. That was me watching that trailer. <laughs> it's funny because prior to uh, Disney purchasing Star Wars, there was an entire kind of story told. Hi, Judy. Hey, it's mm-hmm. Judy Lynn. He's waving. She's waving to us. Hi, Judy. And she, if, if you're listening to this online, on, on podcast later, if you want to watch this live, Facebook Live, every Monday night, if you want to join in and be able to wave to us and, and put in comments, mm-hmm. it's an interactive show when you're watching the live. Uh, so before Disney purchased Star Wars, mm-hmm. there was this, this entire labyrinth, because there no one was ever sure if they were going to make more Star after. Revenge the Sith. Mm-hmm. There were no plans to make more right. Star Wars. Right. It was there was already this established story that had been written through either books or graphic novels mm-hmm. or games or whatever of everything that happened after mm-hmm. re- uh, re- Return of the Jedi. Mm-hmm. There was all kinds of stuff where like, oh, Luke actually did turn to the dark side mm-hmm. and he sided with Emperor Palpatine. Right. But it turned out it was all a long game. It was a long game where because Emperor Tem- Palpatine kept re- living because he used some Sith magic to transfer his his soul to right. another clone. Right. That's where all these clones, like, all these clones, he'd have all these clones of himself. Right. And he just kept coming back. And so, like, Luke, you know, joined him. Mm-hmm. Like, ah, you fulfilled your destiny. Mm-hmm. And it was, oh, just to get on the inside, I'm like, all right, how do I destroy all these clones? Like, he was like this whole, like, long game of, how do I end this? Because we right. need to kill Palps. He's right. gone. And then there's yeah. other set of books where there's, there's this blue guy called the Grand Admiral Thrawn, and he turned out to be like in a huge pain in the ass to everyone because like he took over the remnants of the Empire after the Emperor went down, and he was like uh, led them back to right. almost conquering the, re- the 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 rebellion again. And, yeah, yeah. And then Han and Leia had multiple kids and all kinds of craziness. But when Disney bought Star Wars, they kind of said, "All right, we're freaking saying delete all that. We're just gonna go forward from Episode Seven and yeah. forget all that stuff happened." <laughs> Yeah. Even though it was like literally 20 years worth of all this great stuff. Uh, uh, the, the comic book publisher, Dark Horse Comics, they published all these. like You could you were still able to get all these Star Wars books and stories. They convert a lot of novels into visual. They they, they turn them into comic books, mm-hmm. into graphic novels. And it was so great uh, because the comic shop I worked at back you know, in the Comic Galaxy, we'd get all these Star Wars comics, but for whatever reason, you know, between however many years, because there was all those years without Star Wars movies, People weren't buying these books. I mean, some people, there was a dedicated, you know, yeah. fan base. Right. No one bought them. So I had this entire library in front of me. I didn't, I didn't have to pay a dime. <laughs> working at the comic nice. shop. Yeah, it must have been nice. It was nice. That was one of the nice things of working at a comic shop. When when certain books didn't sell, you could just sit there and read them all. <laughs> and I read all the Star Wars. We'd always order a couple of the Star Wars books. Maybe we'd sell one. I don't know. But we'd always have at least one yeah. of each of the stories. And, oh. Diamond made their money. There was a bunch of the, you know, yeah, Diamond Comics. They got their money. They don't give a shit. <laughs> But we'd have this whole back catalog of all these Star Wars books. I could sit and read Eye of the Beholder, yeah. Heir, of the, Heir to the Empire. Uh, the, the, one of my favorites was like this when, when this Crimson Guardsman. He didn't like, it was like the, the Empire went like alt right. And he's like, no, I am. I believe in the Empire, not what you have created. <laughs> and he was like, siding with the Rebellion, but I don't believe in you. But we have to unite to fight them. Because right. they represent everything wrong with, right. with an Empire. <laughs> it's right. like. Ha! Huh. It was this crazy story, but all that stuff got deleted. Everything was it's now it's called the expanded universe. It, it, like it still exists, but it's not the canon that we 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 exist in. Mm-hmm. Everything going from episode seven forward now it's this new reality that we all I'm exist watching. in. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so, Emperor Palpatine coming back. It's not a sh- for anyone who read the expanded universe. It's not a shock. Oh, that Palps came back. It's like right. oh psh, yeah, he did that back in Dark Empire. <laughs> 
<laughs> but to a lot of people are like, what the hell? The Emperor's back. How's that going to yeah. You hear his voice. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah. Ian McDiarmid, you know, come back and doing that, e- that evil, sinister voice. Has it, it been the same voice the whole time? Yeah, it's been... Uh, uh, going all the way back to Empire Strikes Back, it's been the same guy, Ian McDiarmid. Like, I think there was someone different in the original. Like, it, oh, I'm oh, now I'm, I'm not 100 percent sure. They've gone back. Well, George Lucas went back and digitally put him in right. Empire Strikes Back. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay he was. Okay. Yeah, that's what it was. He he was in Empire Strikes Back. There was this other horrible mask of like, Ugh, <laughs> Lord Vader. Oh, okay. I look like shredded cheese. <laughs> I think I and, what you're about, yeah. and then it went, with all the special editions that they did, they went back and just digitally put in like the current, the, the one from episodes one, two, and three, like mm-hmm. eh, right, eh, Lord of Empire. Ah. <laughs> they, they they fixed that. So he's he's coming back for this one. Yes, no, yeah, he, he's still alive. He, yeah. Ian McDiarmid, he like he he's still that boy. He's still that that sinister voice of Emperor Palpatine. You hear his voice, and what's really cool there, there's, there's a cool shot in the trailer where you see, you see um Ray. You see Chewie, mm-hmm. you see uh, freaking all of them, Finn and and and, and Poe Dameron, my personal favorite because more Mexicans than Star Wars, bro. <laughs> all four of them are in the in the in the in the, in the cockpit of the Millennium Falcon. It's like oh, it it feels like oh, that feels like the OG movies because you'd see all of them mm-hmm. in the cockpit. It's like yeah. these last few movies has kind of just been all over the place. That's what I feel like this trailer. It's still gonna be if you hate what they've done so far with Star Wars, you're gonna hate this trailer. Yeah. If you love Star Wars and you don't, um, you don't hate yourself, then this trailer was a, a was a lot of cool stuff happening. There's a lot of fun things happening in this trailer. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of dynamic set pieces where you just see a shitload of star destroyers. Right. You see freaking battles. You see these tender moments oh, yeah. between all the characters. Yeah, there was a lot. There, like there was a lot packed in those two and a half minutes. Yeah. So I, I'm sure I'll, if there's people, buy, you can buy your tickets right now. I'm just like, cool. <laughs> we'll watch it later. <laughs> uh, if, if Pete decides to buy some tickets, maybe we'll go out. But I don't know. It depends on how pregnant <laughs> you we are at that point. You're, you're going to be like seven and a half, almost eight months. You, you might be, you actually, if it comes out around Christmas, you'll be close to popping. You're in no right, condition yeah. to go in the movie theater. Ah. So I don't know. We'll see if we are going to go out. I don't know if I'm gonna go. I'm like, I, I can't go. I have to be near, uh, near the bubbas, near, hey. near the babies. It doesn't just pop out. It doesn't just go like, boop. Oh, pop out. Four, pop four, out four, four, baby on the floor. You can get through a whole movie. How about <laughs> we can? <laughs> we can handle going to a we movie, can maybe. Go to a movie while we're in labor. <laughs> while we're while we while you're in labor, <laughs> be like, oh, hold on. Ooh, that's a contraction. Oh, was that the contraction? Or was that the force? <laughs> Ooh, give me some popcorn. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But that, that that happened right before we came on the air. But the main topic, well, let, let, let's just shift gears here. Star yeah. Wars, we're excited. Well, I'm excited. I, I, I cannot speak for you, wife. I mean, it, it seems, I'm sure it seems cool to you. It does. It does. It does. Yeah. But the, the main topic I want to hit is like last Wednesday. We, we talked, well, last week we talked about this show, but we got hit in the face last Wednesday. The show <laughs> Rhythm and Flow. So if, if you weren't with us last week, there was this crazy crazy show on netflix mm-hmm. it's a it's a reality show i think i, I i'm not 100 percent sure this might be netflix's first attempt at doing a reality show uh-huh. and uh it's a it's a it's, the premise is you got i don't know because they're they're releasing the episodes spaced out they're not just dropping them all at once yeah uh, this is netflix doing a reality show they they, they got but you know, it was released on fx or on no netflix? that show no that what is it Flow? An actual netflix that this show? is produced by netflix that's oh. why we don't know anything about it oh. Oh, That's okay. why it's like we're waiting until like to we have to wait till Wednesday to find out who got kicked last week. It's pissing me off. <laughs> so there's a show that you got Cardi B, mm-hmm. you got Chance the Rapper, and Ti. Mm-hmm. They're the three uh, judges. It's kind of like the the rap version of the Voice, kind of, but or like a, a American rapper, <laughs> you know, yeah. to to use some analogs there. But this show is out of control, mm-hmm. and uh, we we talked about it last week. But what they're doing, they're releasing like three episodes. I guess they did four episodes the first week, and then they they did th- uh, the first yeah. week they did four episodes, four. and then last week they did three more episodes. They're releasing yeah. three at a time. Three at a time. Mm-hmm. So and then like, I guess this Wednesday we're gonna get. A, I would imagine the last three episodes maybe. I don't I think know. So, yeah. I, think I don't know is. what the format is, but there it is. Yeah. And uh, they're, they're kind of like a Netflix showing great restraint. They're staggering episodes out instead of their usual spooge of here's everything at once. <laughs> here's everything. Enjoy yourself. Uh, shower yourself in all of it. <laughs> so Rose was like, hey, do you want to watch? Because she knows I love hip hop. Mm-hmm. And 
we, we started watching it. I'm like, oh, this is interesting. This is kind of yeah. cool. I, I was under the impression this show had already, like, been completed because I, I hadn't heard of it. Oh, okay, this is already done. Oh. We're just going to plow through all these episodes and see who Oh, no, I guess it had just come out. And yeah. then we just got the new episodes last week. And, oh, yeah. it, it's nuts. It's uh, they, they, oh. they went to L.A. They grabbed a bunch of rappers from here. Oh, fun. They went to, and then each of the rappers went to their own respective towns. Yeah. Cardi B went to New York. Mm -hmm. um, Chance went to Chicago. T.I. went to Atlanta. Yeah. So they all got their, their 40 contestants. And so yeah. that led us to this week, this, this last Wednesday, where they had 40 people. Ooh. And, and they, they cut that shit they in more than half. <laughs> they, oh man, they sent home 24 people in the first Just episode. like that. Not fucking around in that Dude, first episode. That's the worst, gotta be the worst feeling where like, like yeah, all, these, all, all these people from out of LA it. got this trip. Oh, right, we made it, we made it. And man. like the first day. First thing, day. we get rid of 24 yeah. of you. Goodbye. You don't like You're that turning one. back around and going home. You owe me half. Half. At, man, you just see the look on all their faces because like they had no clue. Like a lot of, especially the ones that came That's from so New bad. York and, uh, and Chicago. It and was Atlanta, like ripping like, off a band aid. Hard. It's like, it's like oh, it's like you got twenty four hours. We're putting you in groups of four. You have to do a rap cipher where everyone cipher. has to. They had to like. I didn't know what a cipher was. They had to cooperatively, you know, mm -hmm. work on the same. They had they all have to work off the same beat. Mm -mm. And kind of collaborate and rap at the same time but they are competing with each other because only right. the best 16 were going to advance right, yeah. and it was crazy because you get to see like some of these people like you know some of the people they passed just because of their personality or like they're like, kind of cool and mm -hmm. some of them you could see that some of them had legit talent oh absolute talent yeah and it was just funny because you see like some of the groups is like because they just had like I, it was they had a, they had like a day to write or was it yeah. a day I don't know if they even okay. had a day yeah. to write out the, uh, to work out with the other three rappers or oh, what are we rapping about yeah. Ooh, right. our beat. and Who's some that? of them just freaking fucking up and it's hilarious because the, they cut immediately the judges and you oh, see the, the look on their faces they're like yep you fucked yeah <laughs> Cause, cause, it's like automatic because T.I. like he, he tries to hide how it feels but you just see him he just looks down he's like yeah. nope he doesn't have a poker face either. Just like Chance, Ch oh yeah, yeah. No, but Chance is the one without a poker face. Chance is like, yeah. He's gone. He's yeah. about to knock over his hat. He's like so overwhelmed sometimes, yeah. either in the like super positive way or the super negative way. And then Cardi B is just being Cardi. She's middle. like, She's in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> like, like the, the, there's one dude who it was so funny. Like he totally forgot his fucking lyrics. Uh. He's like, fuck everything. Fuck, I'm a prostitute. <laughs> Fuck me. I'm Fuck me, prostitute. I'm a prostitute. Like oh yeah, his God. lyric was supposed to be something else. And he was just like, Fuck me. Uh, Fuck, I'm a fucking pro I'm a fucking prostitute. <laughs> and he's like, uh, and then you see Cardi like, like she's freaking pigeoning super extra. Really I feel bad for T.I. and Chance because like Cardi's just wilding out on him all the time, Always. and they're just like, she's they're, just her. She's she just she her. can't turn it off. She, that's who she is. Yeah. And yeah, they're just cutting like some groups are just cutting people down. They're like, all right, there's five of them in one group. They're like, nah, only one of you gets to go on. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, you you get to advance. The other four, y'all suck because there are people mm -hmm. just like, oh, like they just would drop their rap. Yeah. And they're like, nah, I'm sorry. Yeah. Like one girl is just like, I'm just I'm rapping in front of Ti and Chance. Chance, you're my favorite rapper. And it's like, girl, this is like a competition. You gotta, you gotta just. Go. I know you're nervous, but you gotta hold your shit just together. Go. Keep your shit inside. After your shit's done, go fucking vomit outside. Yeah, yeah, like, oh, yeah. Chance, here's Ah, Ti. Here's my chance to tell them they're mine. They're mine. Oh, uh, that one, that one girl. Oh, Tia is my baby daddy. <laughs> and then she was gone. And then she was gone. <laughs> baby she mama got, gone. Baby mama was gone. <laughs> it was hilarious. Oh, and yeah, that one episode that was already like intense enough. That was like yeah. super intense. Cypher. And like a lot of our, uh, a lot of our favorite ones. A lot of the people, of course, like any reality show, yeah. you pick your favorites. Yeah. There's a dude from L.A. Smoke yeah. D. Oh yeah. He's this friggin' dude who raps in e English and Spanish. Even though I think he's, Bilingual. He's, he's a black dude, Linguist. but he learns Spanish. He's and, fucking dope. Yeah, he, he's a school teacher, but he's freaking dropping some fucking yeah. heat. Yeah. And like everybody loves this dude. And His students must love him. I, if I guess. he is a school, uh, a, a person, a teacher. A I feel like it rapper. might be like an alter ego. I don't know if his his teacher self is different from his freaking rap self. They might be like night and day. It could be it's like great though. Freaking Walter White I and don't... Heisenberg. It might be two different dudes. Uh, <laughs> but you know that also like gives me kind of hope in the in the sense that like if his students are watching. Mm -hmm. 
Good. They're like, oh yeah. shit, yeah, teach like, what? Teach got fucking drip. Yeah. I've been learning all these words of all these like, you know, oh, I got that drip. Mm-hmm. I'm like, I don't know what they're saying, but they're saying know. something about drip. Yeah. But all these girls talking about, I got that drip. I feel like it kind of opens kids' eyes to being like, you can be whatever you want to be. You can be a teacher mm, and a rapper. I mean, Peaches yeah. did it, but mm-hmm. that's Peaches. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, a lot of people do that. I mean, a lot of teachers do that, I guess. But yeah. thinking about how it affects kids, because mm-hmm. kids are watching Netflix, too. Yeah, they can be easily influenced. Against, you know, obviously, you know, all this has already been done. And mm-hmm. I'm sure he has to keep his mouth. All the students are like, what happens? Oh what God, happens? What sure. happens? They're like, nah, I can't tell you. Nah. I'm legally bound not to tell you. <laughs> I was gonna, I have money in my pocket they can take away if I tell you. <laughs> yeah, you don't want that. So yeah, that episode was oh, that was pretty interesting seeing all the ciphers and like you see a bunch of people getting kicked, but, oh, all, but all all the you know all the but, quality people kind of made it through. Yeah. But then the second episode, mm-hmm. they did battle raps. Yeah. They made all the rappers battle, and it's <sighs> fucked up because they put a lot of people who are similar to each other up against each other. So they good. put two of the best people up against it because one of them was gonna have to fucking go home, and that was bullshit. So not bad. Fair. There was this dude, oh, this, this, this dude, uh, old, old man, I, I forget what that name was, but he was like this dude, he was dressed up like Cab yeah. Calloway. He was dressed up in a suit. His, one of his influences was Cab Calloway. Cab Calloway. He, he looks like freaking, he's doing Carlton dances and shit. Yeah. But once he starts spitting, it is hot fire. It is. You don't expect it to come out of this dude. He's you know like what? looking all nice and neat. He's all he's dapper. Like, he's all yeah. dapper. He's talking he's like glasses. Carlton, like before he starts, and then yeah. boom. He just starts firing. They put him up against the school teacher. Yeah. And I was like, what the fuck's wrong with y'all? And like, I went, on, tw- that. That I went on Twitter sad. afterwards. There were so many people mad about that. Because yeah. I wanted both of them to both. get to the next round. And then, you know, one of them can take out the other one. Yeah. But in this round of 16, because they, they cut half. They, they cut half. They, cut, they went from 16 to 8. And, oh, man, so many people, like, they didn't know how to battle rap. Like, no. There were some good people who were... Who were probably good rappers, but they didn't get through because they couldn't. They didn't know how to battle rap, and I got mad at like one of the girls who like was super fucking aggressive. Like apparently, like she was breaking the rules of battle rap. She was getting up in the other girl's face. Like everyone else was respectful to stand there, like taking, taking the bullets. All right, take it. All right, say your shit. Say your shit. But this one chick, uh, big mouth, whatever her name. Big mouth bow. Big mouth bow. She was just like all up in the other girl chick's face against every time the girl's trying to rap. Yeah. And it's like it's fucked up. And it's funny because the 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 judge is like, oh, we gotta see if you broke some rules. It's either gonna take away some points or add some points to you. But she ended up winning. Uh, and, uh, t- to be fair, the other girl wasn't super aggressive either. No. Like, like, she already wasn't aggressive, and then you got this chick just up in your face, fucking get, getting all ghetto on you, bringing her Chicago shit right up to your face. Yeah. God damn, I know that, that, that poor girl. The other girl, she could rap, but I don't think she was used to having someone shoving up in her, her face. Uh, right up in her. She was yeah. up in her. Well, she was fucking just dancing on her on I her think boobs, a lot of right lyricists, writers, poets. You know, they get into this groove of like being alone, being solo, mm-hmm. writing, yeah. producing. Not everyone is rabbit from, from 8 Mile. Everything by themselves, <laughs> you know, everything by themselves because you can do that nowadays. You can mm-hmm. you can never leave your house and you can be a fucking millionaire, like seriously, mm-hmm. just by playing video games or just by writing Doing, music write and music. producing it and selling it all YouTube. online, right? Mm-hmm. But like, damn, once it comes to the street and you get somebody up in your face, you, you could tell during that. Brick, you know what you I mean? could tell <laughs> in the battle raps <laughs> who was like straight from the streets Street. and who Street. was like in a conservatory or who was like just yeah. working from home. Yeah. And it's like, damn, it was yeah. it, it, it was vicious. Yeah, it was like, it was. Uh, well, I think my but I think my favorite battle was between it was like a flawless, uh-huh. a flawless real talk is the name or something, and then mm-hmm. uh, this other girl Beans. Oh, oh shit. Oh. They were just going in on each other with some, like, the real shit they picked up from, like, I guess they, because they had all been interacting for a couple of days, mm-hmm. like, for the, this, this one dude, Flawless, it was, yeah. like, his daughter's birthday, and he wasn't yeah. there, because his daughter's in New York, and he's here, yeah. and so she goes after him on that. Her uh, very last line. The last line was she drops. Her, his daughter. About his daughter, and yeah. I was just like, was I like, was clutching my pearls. <laughs> Yeah. I was like, damn, this dude might just got beat by this by this tiny beans girl. And then he comes right back at her. Oh, it's so good. I think one of my favorite ones that he dropped is he like, yo, them beans. cook them beans. What? I'm fucking Puerto Rican. I eat up them beans. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and he was just like, boom, boom, yeah. like lowering the boom on her. And it was just like, 
Oh, cause I kept saying because he was letting his daughter's birthday affect him. Like, oh no, it's it's on his head. Nah, he used that rage and he came right yeah, back he and he freaking you could see he like bit her with, head off. Like because she dropped that line. Oh. Was he the one that was like, I'm not gonna be mean. No, no, no. That was someone else. Oh. That was someone else earlier. That was like um. I forget which, which guy like he he went up against. He was like, I'm going to be positive. No, he's the one who went up against London. Right? Oh, it was yeah. the dude that went up against That's London. Right. Yeah. This dude who was going up against, oh, I'm not going to use bitch. I'm not going to use this. And disrespectful. She, I'm not going to be disrespectful. Yeah. And she went first and she annihilated him. Yeah. She, she was so she disrespectful. <laughs> and, and that's right. This dude got fucked up because he had already prepared yeah. some non disrespectful stuff. And all of a sudden, on the fly, yeah. he had to change his whole shit. He had to suddenly be like, okay, I gotta work, bitch, and I gotta work all this. Like, and you could tell. It was awesome. You could tell, like, he, it wasn't, it was all freestyle. He was yeah. freestyling, but he ran out because yeah. he wasn't ready. Like, nope. he was, he wasn't ready he to. He ran out of gas. He, he, he wasn't prepared to destroy her. Like, he didn't want to destroy her, and therefore he, he did not. He, wa- he, he walked into a gunfight with a knife, <laughs> and, he got, and he got like, what the fuck? I got. Oh, God damn it! And then yeah. you could just tell he ran out of gas, and that's why he got. You know, that's why he lost yep. that rap battle. It was, it was insane, and it was intense. It that was time. intense. Yeah. That crazy rap battle episode. Yeah. I like. They're all like the same length, but that one felt like the longest. It did. And so in the in the, the third episode, mm-hmm. the the eight people that advanced, mm-hmm. they each got like a week, and then they got a freaking film crew at or a music video producer. crew. Oh, they got they got a producer. Yeah. In a week, they had to make a be song. Be in the studio. Be in a studio. Yeah. And then make a music video, yep. come back after a week, bring yep. that music video back to L.A. Yep. and present it to the judges. And mm-hmm. then they were going to go through and like, all right, only two, only six were going to advance. They're going to kick the two lowest ones. So much fun. And then a, a, really a lot of the videos were actually pretty good. Yeah, uh, like, they really were. The fact they only had a week to make a song yeah. and then shoot a video, whatever yep. the vision of the of each of the artists was. Yeah. We like that. For that Smoke D, he did really good. He mm-hmm. kicked ass. Homegirl London beat. She did really good too, mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. and some of other people were not as good. Like they kicked one person immediately. It was like that. That, that the one I didn't like, Loudmouth Bo. Yeah. She had a she had a shitty video. She, she didn't she like, didn't do good. Yeah. So, so they kicked her, and then they left her. There was this one white boy. Yeah. Like the one white dude who made it this far. Mm-hmm. Uh, who he and to his credit, he keeps making adjustments. Like the entire every time, like yeah. he's good, but then like you know, Chance or Ti will they tell give us some him critique, critiques. And he takes it mm-hmm. and he fucking. Lays he had glasses. Closet. Boom. He got rid of the glasses. Yeah. He don't look like a typical what. Uh, freaking Cardi B keeps calling him a uh, Bill Gates son. <laughs> yeah, that's fucked up. It's fucked up. She's like first white boy in my head. Bill <laughs> first Gates Bill Gates son. Gates, uh, and so he keeps making adjustments because he he looked really awkward that first yeah. time out when they when yeah. they saw him in uh I was it Chicago because he's from Detroit so mm-hmm. he went to the Chicago audition mm-hmm. and so he keeps making adjustments he comes coming back but like he was one of the people that's at elimination yeah. and there's another kid from Arizona and he's like this kind of like nerdy kid he like he'd do like a Rubik's cube the Rubik's cube and, yeah, kid, thing. and like and then yeah. his video was kind of whack yeah like if he I didn't, didn't like if, it if he doesn't like because like they, all the judges like right. he had to explain this video before they showed the video and yeah. they're like yo if you didn't tell us about that we wouldn't have understood a single thing it. that was going on no. it was like him like signing he looked like he was trying to Kanye it out he was all like wearing a jacket with no shirt on underneath and, white and all this stuff and yeah. a white is a crazy white box yeah. video whatever and so they left everybody hanging yeah they didn't tell us which of the two they're gonna get rid of and we gotta wait till wednesday and i was so heated i got on twitter i got stupid at Dre gb podcast and you added i added all of that no Car- dot add. at I added Cardi. I added Chance. I added T.I. I added freaking Netflix. I was like, what the hell, yo? I mean, I get it. I understand. You're doing some freaking network bullshit. This is a reality show. You got to keep people wanting to come back. I was, I'm already coming back. Yep. We're we're coming back. back Tell us. Wednesday. We're coming back. We'll be there Wednesday night. Definitely have to come back Wednesday. I'm, I'm just heated about it. I think it's bullshit. I hate when they do that shit. If it's I like, die on I'll, Tuesday, I will come back on Wednesday just to watch You will shit. come up from the ground. You will rise. <laughs> I will rise again so I can get these beats. <laughs> just say it. But the this show, show good. this show is good. I, I, I'm not usually a reality show person, but damn, this one like... I, I knew you were going to like it. I, I, and then there's a lot of people, mm-hmm. they're trying to, and I think that the focus of a lot of the artists are trying to bring back rational hip-hop right. understood right hip-hop you can understand because you got all these mumble rappers because and all they, these freaking who, remember who are the two best 
Boom. Well, Big E and Tupac. Right. That's what I was going to say. Who's the best? It was like best? automatic. It was automatic. There because was no hesitation. You understand the... There was no hesitation when they asked who's the two best. And Big their lyrics Big were Pac. amazing. Yeah. yeah they, great lyricists. Mm -hmm. Clear. Yeah. You could understand what they're talking about. You could yeah. hear the... Like... You could hear their struggle. Like sometimes they were rapping about that life, but they were rapping about other stuff too. Mm -hmm. and people always forget. Tupac always had his feminist track, like on every always. album. Always, <laughs> yes, he did. He was talking about the ladies. Mm -hmm. Got to keep your head up. Oh. <laughs> Brenda's got a baby. <laughs> oh, yes, Tupac. Yeah, it's Pac. Yeah, I mean, he he, uh, he he was probably a studio gangster. He wasn't no, a real gangster. I just thought about it right now. I was like, dear mama. Dear mama, thank you. I was trying to remember that one. I was confusing it with the uh, with the uh, with Kanye's mama song. Oh, I, was like, I was like, dear mama. Because yeah, yeah, because yeah. Ye, which was he always cites that he was his bit one of his big influences right, was always Pac. Right. So it's like he like he had his own mama song as yeah. well. Yeah. But it's just yeah. A lot of these rappers like I I I it gives me hope that a lot of these rappers are actually trying to rap in the older style like where yeah. there's a message you can understand them. Clear. It's not just. <laughs> Twerky chicken trap or whatever trap. fucking chicken trap <laughs> whatever chicken trap <laughs> cluck trap cluck trap I don't know what the hell is going on Go sometimes in the like club this, trap I remember one one, one of my one, like, one of my students like a few years ago like he, he put on a uh, ASAP Rocky for me and I was like what is this oh ASAP Rocky you mean the only rapper that the president has actually named by name that one yeah the president. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, no, I was like, I was like, what is this garbage? And like a lot of this stuff nowadays is just garbage, in my opinion. Garbage. I'm sure there's people out there who, who love to bathe themselves in garbage, and you know, you go ahead and get bathe yourselves in Maybe this. garbage just gets people's mind off all the bullshit that also is happening on TV, so it's just kind of like... I guess. But uh, I, think about I, I, remember, I, I was raked across the coals when a couple of years ago I, I heard Kendrick Lamar and then I heard I was at Humble and I did not like that song at all. Like I'm sure there's probably like a good message somewhere in there. Do you, like, do you like Kendrick Lamar? I don't know. Do you like what he's done for the community? I don't know what he's done for the community. All I heard was Be Humble. Be Humble. I think, uh, Be Humble. I think, okay, Be his Humble. first album or. Be Humble. He. What, what, Damn? Or the second he, album was Damn? Um. I'm not People sure keep about. telling me he's like he's no, like the modern he, guy. Because you know he's from South LA, right? He's from South. Okay. So he throws down a t like thousands of dollars for the band, for the high school band. Oh, okay. To buy That's all cool. the instruments. To okay. buy all new I equipment. I respect that. Yeah. But I didn't so, like his yeah. music so far. <laughs> well, I. I don't know it, if it's his producer it's or. It, for me, it's like yes and no. You know, you could mm. like some things, but you don't have to like. Like I, I, I've never heard a track about Nipsey Hussle, but I, I read about all the stuff that he's done for the community. And I respect that. Yeah. That's cool. And it's funny, all the people like the yeah. first episode. I guess they filmed this before Nipsey Hussle yeah. passed away. Mm -hmm. It's like you see Nipsey in the first episode, and like I saw on Twitter, everyone's like, "Oh, when you see Nipsey, Ooh, everyone just like cries and cries." Yeah. Yeah, but this show is just yeah, it has messed me up. Uh, I'm enjoying it. Yeah. But it's a good show. Yeah. Uh, if you haven't watched it, if you enjoy. If you enjoy old school hip hop, if you enjoy hip hop, I, I recommend watching the show. There, there's hope for yeah. for hip hop out there. Yeah. Now, now something that I did not get to watch last night that, that premiered last night mm -hmm. was uh, the Watchmen. Oh uh, yeah. The Watchmen oh, on yeah. HBO. I, I I didn't get a chance to. to... Are you gonna watch that solo? Because I think yeah. I'm gonna have to watch that solo Rolo. Because I was reading about it. it was, apparently, it's pretty extreme. But uh, like uh, everything I read this morning was pretty crazy pants. Oh. Like um. Like a Regina King a, uh, is apparently just mm -hmm. a fucking a tour de force in this. Oh, yeah, yeah like, there, there's a line. It's like I'm sniffing, <laughs> I'm I'm fighting white supremacy and I smell some bleach. Oof. 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 That's Oof. one Oof. line. That's one line. I was just like, damn. And yeah, apparently she's just a tour de force on this on this mm. on the show. She mm -hmm. is just like on one, which makes me want to watch it even more because. Obviously, you know, I, I, if you've ever watched our Wednesday show or with me and Pete, like, you know, The Watchmen, that, that's like, that's my catcher in the rye. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's, I, I have multiple copies of Watchmen. Right. <laughs> Both the book and the film. Right. <laughs> it's a, like, that, that, that yeah. book was always, I, that's a book that wrecked my brain when I was a young I man. I was totally so. the movie. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I should have you read the, the, the book. It's it's a, it's a it's a weighty tome. Oh, yeah. I'll right. hold the baby you read the book and be like, here, read the book. I'll read the I'll book. Who's the baby? I Ugh. don't recommend that <laughs> at all. I don't understand. No. I don't understand. But yeah, that's a, but 
I, I, obviously, the, the original creator of, uh, of the Watchmen, he gets very mad when they do this stuff because they had done some like before Watchmen stuff years ago where they asked some of the best writers in comic books to kind of add to the backstory of the Watchmen. Uh-huh. And of course, um, Alan Moore is like, fuck them. He's, he's this old British man. He right. uh, every time they turn one of his one of his books into a movie, he's like, "Fuck us." Uh, he refuses to like. They cannot put his name on it. No. They right. put the artist. They literally like based on a comic book drawn by Dave Gibbons. It doesn't say Alan Moore anywhere. He's like, "No." Right. Take your. I think I took. I think he took his, either his Watchmen money or his V for Vendetta money. V for Vendetta money. Right. Bought a castle. <laughs> a uh, big moat. Hell yeah! Shit. I have my I big snake. Moat. He's like a he's like a warlock. He's a crazy wizened old man. Awesome. <laughs> like although I think his his League of Extraordinary Gentlemen money that that's where like he he was like I hate Hollywood because that was well that was one of his comic books mm-hmm. and then the, that 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 movie which I I don't I refuse to watch that movie because I hear it's not good at all. You know, it's like freaking the uh, Sean Connery. Right. I think yeah. that might have been one of Sean Connery's last movies. I think that caused him to retire from Hollywood. Oh, Sean Connery, the penis mightier. But yeah, so watch me this show. I'm gonna have to like steal your phone you and steal the the HBO Go login mm-hmm. and watch it uh, w- without you. That way, our, you know, anything super intense, we're not eh, subjecting our child to, or through, well, not subjecting you to, because you're just gonna retain all these memories. If you, if you, I'm sure if we watch an episode of her killing a whole bunch of white supremacist dudes, that's gonna like just stay in the the, the sponge of your brain. Oh, yeah. The so, sponge that is my brain right yeah. now. So it, it, it came out. I, I will yeah. investigate and report on it later. Uh, I didn't have a chance because last night I was busy making that. Uh, I was busy making art last night. Mm-hmm. And then I didn't want to be like. I, I, I honestly, I didn't even. I forgot. But it was like. I, we had saw, I'd seen this. Oh, wait. Watchmen. Oh, I think it was yesterday. We're like, oh, Watchmen premieres tomorrow. Oh, no, wait. It oh, premieres yeah. tonight. I was, yeah. like, I was like, this whole weekend I was so confused. I thought yesterday really was were. Saturday. I was just like I said. This weekend was like a total blur of like where? time. Up is down. Up is down. Down is up. Down, down is up. Cats or dogs? Dogs or cats? I don't know. <laughs> it was a weird weekend for me. So that happened last night, and then um something that happened last week that I, I didn't get to talk about was uh, I I guess uh, I I used to be a PC gamer way back in the day before uh, before. Was it like Kirk Game Boy. No, a uh, PC as in a personal computer. Dude. Duh. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> I stepped on that joke. <laughs> I used to be a PC gamer, but before it was known as the P, as before they start calling it the PC Master Race, yeah. before everyone can say, "Oh yeah, if you're not gaming on a computer, you're not gaming at all." It's like around all the big games yeah. like like Overwatch or yeah. whatever or Fortnite. You have to be playing on PC. You have to have a mouse and a keyboard. That's oh. Yeah. If you produce a controller of any sort, <laughs> you, you show this to a PC gamer, they're like, oh, controllers! It's yeah. radio right there showing you a controller. I know, it's amazing radio, <laughs> but I'm pl- I'm playing to our Facebook audience <laughs> no, right now. <laughs> because we're a simulcast I show. Know. But yeah, if you hold up a controller to a PC yeah. gamer, they're, they're horrified. But I, I only uh, dabbled in PC gaming way, way, way back when in the, in the, in the, the late 90s. I want to say like 96 or 97 mm-hmm. when, when I finally got a, a, a decent computer of my own uh, and friends of mine came over and installed a bunch of games. Right. And uh, I, I miss those those halcyon days because oh man, there was a lot of fun stuff. There was a game called Civilization, mm-hmm. where you literally started like in Mesopotamia, or like you literally just were like building a city, and then you'd have to fight off other civilizations, and you'd have to like and building a time city. and time would go by. It's like oh, you, as advanced advances in science, you just you have dudes with spears. So like the early Minecraft. It was like way. This is way before Minecraft. You're like, you're not literally building a, a city brick by brick. It's like, all right, you have a little town. Like, all right, let's in, in, let's let's invest in science. Let's yeah. invest in uh-huh. in military. Let's invest in this again. Like, yeah, then you you have a you'd pick one of these. You know, mm-hmm. you'd pick someone to follow. Oh, I'm going to be, uh, friggin', oh uh, God, uh, we're gonna follow a republic. We're gonna uh-huh. follow communism. We're gonna right. follow uh, federalism. We're gonna follow you know fundamentalist Christian. Like, it's like you could pick. And they would affect the game uh, one way or another, you know. Mm-hmm. Your, your your advisor would be like, "Let's go to war. Let's go to war. We need to kill all of them. Okay, so yeah. them they're different from us. We right. need to kill them all." Were you able to play with different people, or was it only a single user kind of thing? Uh, those games you were just playing by yourself. Later on, they kind of evolved where you can play against other people. Uh-huh. So, a game Civilization. I thought that that, that, that was I would sink so many hours back in you know, my my teen years. I'd stay up to like three in the morning playing it out because time would pass and like you'd advance. So you'd go from 
dudes with spears to dudes with muskets to marines to like oh stealth bombers are bombing each other dropping nuclear weapons and oh wow we can't live over there because there's nothing but radiation there now whoops like it's stuff like that you'd have mm -hmm. to that'd be a consideration oh you could nuke them they'll be gone but you just ruined right. that piece of the world right permanently exactly <laughs> Yeah, it was a crazy game. Like, there, was, there was that, and there was, there was this uh, Star Wars game. Going back to the Star Wars topic from earlier, uh -huh. there was a game called uh, uh, X-Wing, and then there was another one called TIE Fighter. And I loved TIE Fighter more. You, you, I was the bad guy. You'd be shooting at me, because like, it would just be the cockpit. And then when I got the computer, a fr uh, the friend who helped me set it up, they got me a joystick. Oh, okay. So I was like, oh, cool. You can pull the trigger. And then, you know, it's all tilted control. So, like, I'd be, oh. flying, I'd be flying these TIE Fighters. And all through the game, you get all these different ships. Some of them would be faster. Some of them would be slower. They're more powerful. Mm -hmm. Or you'd fly the freaking Emperor Shuttle. I remember loving those games. Oh. But one that always, like, stuck with me, because uh, my middle school friend had it on his computer. It was called Dune 2. It was mm -hmm. based off that, that crazy movie from uh, from the 80s. Yeah. And uh, it was like, you had a battle for spice. I mean, apparently, uh, as I did uh, research, uh, that was this was the first real-time strategy game. This was before Command and Conquer or Age of Empires, hmm. where like everything was kind of like, there was no like, you oh, you guys have to wait your turn. I'm going to do the, no, it was like, if you were building something, the computer was building something. Right. Like, oh, I'm building up this. I'm building that up. All right. right. And then, oh. And then you had to like, you had to build a refinery. Right. And you send out the machine to go gather the spice because the spice turns into money. You use the money. All right. I need to build walls. Mm -hmm. I need to build a barracks to send out soldiers. I need to build a, a freaking, uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, this uh, vehicle factory. To right. Make these trikes to go out there. Oh, there's a sandworm in the sand. Ah, I just eat my trike. You dick. Yeah. Shoot the sandworm. And then there's either, like, you'd pick one of the three houses. And then each house had the, an advantage that it had. Like, oh, this one makes more money. This makes better military. Mm -hmm. This one, uh, blah, blah, blah. So, oh, yeah. they, Dang Wong knows what's up. Civilization. Yeah. Yeah. Civilization stole my childhood. Yeah. Civilization stole a good six months from me. <laughs> I'd just stay up all night and fall asleep and then wake up the next day and go to school. And, like, I have to go home and continue my civilization. I have to pick another one. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, so but Dune 2, oh, my God. is uh, oh, my God. I was, like, it was the first strategy game where you have to, like, plop it because, like, You'd be sitting there, all of a sudden, you see these green troops just coming. You motherfuckers get to send out your defense. Right. And everything's happening live. Like, oh my god. You have to react. And they go, we need more soldiers. Oh, wait, we need more spice. Oh, crap. You have to manage all these things. There's a lot of multitasking. Are these games out still? Oh, that's what I'm going to get to. Oh. Apparently, there's a website out there called the Internet Database, mm. where they have taken a lot of these MS-DOS games. I, I discovered this through Kotaku. I must cite my sources. Um, through Kotaku... That you could play these games, you and you don't even have to download them because the the files now are so comparatively small compared yeah. to back then. Right. You can literally play them through a browser. You go oh. to the, the internet database, and uh, I, w I I fired up Dune Two on my computer, mm -hmm. and I was like, "What the hell?" And it just it just loads into the you play it in the browser. The controls are a little wonky though. Okay. It, it's kind of weird because like you have to like let the browser take control of your mouse. And oh. I was like, and then, okay. And then it was like, oh, the mouse clicks don't work. You have to use a space. Like when I was playing Dune Two, but the space bar had to be the mouse click. Oh. It was kind of weird. Like I, I was, weird. it was kind of yeah. little wonky controls. But I, I got to play some Dune Two, and I got to scratch that itch. I'm like, ooh, oh, I'm killing a whole bunch of Atreides. Fuck you, Atreides. We're Harkonnen. We're the evil house. We're gonna murder you all. Our big red machine is gonna come and destroy everything. Yeah. <laughs> And I think the Harkonnen like, always had they always had the advantage in the military. So oh, uh -huh. you could always make these giant uh, quad, quad vehicles and just run people. <laughs> oh, I forgot like the the thing that harvests is the spice. You could use that to run over soldiers. Like you know, oh. there's a soldier coming up to shooting at your harvester. You're just like uh -huh. <laughs> oh, yeah. a little blood in the spice. <laughs> Aw, damn. Yeah, it was it, it was a crazy. But there's. Hundreds of these old PC games. So what is called Internet Database? The Internet Database, I believe. I have to double check that. Oh, yeah, it's the Internet Database, and there's just all there. You can just click on it, and it just loads up in your browser, and you can just play it. And then you can save. Like I guess it leaves a cookie, and you can save your. Like I saved my file. And I'm like, oh, okay, cool. I can go back and play it some more. Yeah. Although, it, again, it's kind of wonky. So the last, I, I've kind of given up because my last scenario. I can't, okay, I, I beat the scenario. All right, cool. I'm gonna save, and then the next day I go back to it. Yeah. And it loads me back in the previous scenario. I'm like, come oh. on! No, I don't want to do this again! I already destroyed the stupid Ordos. And I want to move on! the more people that hear about it, the more are going to want to save at a specific point. Oh, well, no, I think it leaves you a cookie, time. like, where, like, because uh, it's... The, these files come in, because this is, like, from, like, 20 years ago or right. 25 years ago. The files are just, boop, mm -hmm. like, no bigger than a... I'm sure a photo on my phone is bigger than some of these files for the computers. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. for these games. 
but it, it's really crazy if, if you want to if, if you are in the in the 40 year old range and you want to go back in time and play <laughs> you want to play some maniac mansion you want to play some like i want to look at they have sam and max that's that's gonna be, that'd be a really fun one for you and me and baby to play so this fun cute little game uh, no, of a joke, rabbit I and a dog i thought you said sam and max right now yeah i did say sam and max no i thought you said like salmon salmon max yeah salmon like the fish yeah like no, like maximum like... fish <laughs> i don't know why <laughs> but i was like oh sam and max. sam and max yeah it, it was this detective dog and his rabbit sidekick and it was this really crazy Shoot. like point and click because back in the days there were these point and click adventure games you just point and click on stuff and it's just right. wacky stuff which, ironically it was the, the star wars company lucasfilm they oh. put out a lot of these really uh, escape from monkey island and mm -hmm. grim bandango there's all these really good games under the the purview of george lucas like oh he had this the lucas games and yeah they had an indiana jones game when i was in middle school that, like i i was oh i always wanted to play this indiana because like i always thought indiana jones was really cool mm -hmm. when i was a kid and, like there's an indiana jones game what what do you mean i, I want to play this game i want to be indiana jones that sounds so cool a little sixth grade me like oh i don't have a computer good enough to play that mm -hmm. i remember one time when i did get a computer in middle school it was like my dad as smart as he was he couldn't figure it out either and i'm just a dumb kid i didn't know how to freaking use the computer uh, i was lucky yeah. i could freaking type up my reports for school and <laughs> print them out and take them <laughs> My yeah, or use print shop. I remember using print shop as a kid, and uh, I was a junior graphic designer. My was... brother was such a nerd. Uh, I mean, Soul was like just like Frankenstein fucking computer. Yeah, I was always nerd. impressed with, all, the with first those type thing of nerds. I, the first thing I remember I spent hours and hours and hours and hours on was Photoshop. Oh. I don't know how or what. I don't know how he got it or or what, but but I was so amazed by photoshop mm. i was like oh my god you can change photos yeah it was the craziest concept to me because i was because i mean like i used to buy those fucking one time use cameras right. in bulk like right. five or ten at a time mm -hmm. and take pictures with my cousin you know all right. all just dress up take pictures and then go to the fees before we had digital get cameras processed. yeah and all that and then you could start getting them made, put on CDs, remember? Mm -hmm. So then I would get all my photos put on CDs, put it in the computer. And you can look at all the world. It's like, oh, this whole world, oh my God, Photoshop. Mm -hmm. It was the craziest thing. It's, it's funny you mentioned Photoshop because today I was like, at work, I was fooling around with MS Paint today. <laughs> <laughs> MS Paint, oh man, <laughs> why? I was editing photos. Oh, it's like MS the, the, Paint? It's like, it's, it's like the poor man's freaking Photoshop. Ooh. Hard, honey. No, oh, but I had to like. I, you, you're I was resizing. Off. You're better. Well, I was resizing for all I was really, really doing. Was, I was I mean, resizing okay, photos. That, that's easy. But no, I was working on my, no, my company. Like, I was working on my company's website, which you, is you, hilarious because, like, I, I, I was saying, I'm like, I wish I was so much better at computers. Like, I, I, I'm okay. I pick up stuff. I know how to YouTube and Google things when I don't know something. But I knew well enough. I'm like, oh, I need to resize this photo. Okay. Let me get. Oh, let me open up Paint and resize this photo. I mean, in all honesty, and this is the weird thing because, like, I mean, I've done all that stuff, but you can actually use Word to resize the photo. To resize, to recolor, to take out background. That's right. You've done. I've I've seen you do some crazy stuff with Word. You're you're you're, yeah. you're a witch when it comes to that kind I of am. stuff. I love it. Like you you did, so, you're showing me something videos. at work. You did a you did a map on Word, not on. I Photoshop. create full warehouse layouts on, on full, Word. On Word. And Excel. Yeah. Fucking like, I don't I, know I, why I'm I married a witch. <laughs> <laughs> like, people, you, well, because we only <clears throat> use, you know, a Windows mm -hmm. um, at work, mm -hmm. uh, it's only the designers that use um, Apple. Apple. Mm -hmm. But they don't even use Apple. Mm -hmm. They, you know, so th they're just doing everything by hand and mm -hmm. touch and feel with all the fabrics and everything. Mm -hmm. So, um, even though I learned how to do InDesign and Photoshop mm -hmm. and all that, right? Mm -hmm. You're using Word I'm for using maps. I'm fucking Word and Excel. Like, <laughs> like I said, I'm talking about, you know, from yeah, the I, 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 can, I can see I can see Excel being used for maps, but Word, like, when you explain that to me, I was just kind of baffled, but then again, I, I am no computer wizard. I wanted to be. I tried so hard. My brother, he got the computer brains in the family. Oh, I'm, that's good, yeah. I'm good enough to record a podcast and 
put it on the internet. Are you gonna know? Yeah, see. Uh, I, I have rudimentary skills, but I, I, I am not a freaking, you know, make things happen. Like, I, I, I made a bunch of stuff for our company's website today. It was really cool. I, was, I felt really good about myself. I was mm-hmm. like, all right, cool. I'm editing stuff. All right, I'm doing the things. Because, mm-hmm. like, they're all older than me. And then when it comes to some of this design stuff, I that's where I had the advantage over a lot of the other employees. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Yeah. I have scale. I have yeah. skill. Scale. Yeah. I'm a big scale with my skill. Yeah, skills. Skills. Yeah, hopefully all this stuff that I'm working on today will help earn us more money for a baby. Yes. Because uh, I'll, I'll well, talk about it more once the website's up and that. running, but I, I, I don't know how many of you are video game wholesalers, so. Right, yeah. <laughs> or people who want to buy games yeah, and wholesale. Yeah, when it's good and ready, I think you can let the info go. See, Daniel Wong, he did his wedding seating chart on Word and Excel. Oh, See, yeah. awesome. See, there you go. There you go. See? See, man, it's me. It's me, not you guys. You guys are the smart ones. I'm the person who's like, Word, you just do book reports on Word. <laughs> you do book reports on YouTube nowadays. Do you know that? Kids do reports on YouTube. You, they record the they, video so they and record, turn that in? Yeah, so they record it in I guess technically it might be faster Apple, than reading iPhone, one. Apple, iPhone, whatever, mm-hmm. you know. And they do full little, They you can you know how you can edit on your uh, Apple, yep. right? Mm-hmm. On my iPhone, yep. And then they upload it into Classroom so their teachers can see it or they can play it for the teachers. That's crazy. That's, uh... That's uh, that, that's nuts. I'm like, are you kidding me? Like, you know, the that's thing. Cool that, thing. I, I don't know if you caught the conversation I had with, with our friend uh, Sean Hornbuckle mm-hmm. during the um, during the the, the baby shower because he, he he and his wife and then they brought their youngest daughter Marlene, mm-hmm. but she was uh, having to do her homework mm-hmm. while she was at the baby shower. Mm-hmm. He he shows me they have an app. Mm-hmm. I guess I don't know if it's like every school, but I guess the school that she's going to, they have an app where a parent can track all the progress of oh, the yeah. child. Oh yeah. That they, Google Classroom, gets, you can do that yeah, too. It's, it's it, like, but it was like some sort. Of, I guess it, they had a proprietary one for their school. Oh, okay. Like app, uh, made for their school. Made yeah. for their school. Yeah. I'm sure it probably uses the, that Google Classroom as a, as a as a framework. But yeah. They had one for whatever high school high school she's going to. Right. And then you could literally see every assignment. Like she's getting F's in a couple of classes right now. And I was like, you can see missed assignment. Missed. Like all the yeah. assignments are right there in this Excel sheet. You could see all of it. I just sat there and they're like, oh man. Oof. Oh, I wouldn't make it as a kid today. <laughs> you couldn't. You couldn't make it as a kid today. I couldn't make it as a kid today. Uh, my parents have too much. Uh, it's every helicopter's dr- parents' dream slash nightmare. Yeah, <laughs> That's awesome. you can monitor every piece of their. My, my parents had no idea of my homework. They'd ask me, oh, "Do you no. have any homework?" I'd be like, "Maybe." My parents didn't ask. <laughs> I didn't have much about, homework. No, no, sometimes I don't my remember. parents wouldn't ask. I mean, like, if they saw me busting ass on some. As long as I work, was getting to school. And home for dinner, I was okay. Yeah, I was always the worst with, like, there would always be, like, some sort of project, either for, like, science oh, class yeah, or, or there's some sort of project or report. Oh, it's all freemium? You got to buy a subscription to get full access? What a load of Whoa. shit. What? You have to, pay, like, if you want to see your kid, all your kid's shit, you have to pay. But, like, all right, oh, it's it's free to see. Okay, here's some of your it's kid's progress. It's a shakedown. What a scam. I keep saying everything about today. Everything I see, that's a scam. Mm-hmm. That's a scam. Everything's a scam. I, mean, I wonder if it's a public school or a private school. I don't know. Who gets paid? Right? The app devel- well, I'm sure the app developers need to get some money. That's the thing. And, they, and then the school wants a little bit of... But if it's a public school, then the they district get their beak wet. is paying the app developer. Yeah, the, the, yeah. in theory, that should be paid for. And all, and all of our tax money should be paying for this. this oh, then Daniel says some are worse than others. Man, that is terrifying. An insurance company buying another insurance company. Oh, my. Offshore account. It's insane. Oh, oh. we sent our little boy off to school, and oh, here's the app. Public. Oh, Oh. hey, see, he says public. That's where the money is. Of course, it's public school. The money is in the public schools. Private schools. I'm sure this is. It's all provided in your crazy tuition that you're paid. But does the teacher get paid more? Because look, now the teacher's responsibility is to have computer skills mm-hmm. to be able to put all to make an entire. Well, I'm sure Daniel can contract. verify that right now because his wife is a teacher and he's like, no, the page, do you get paid more? Probably does not. Does she get paid more to spend those I hours they don't. in putting it into the entire system? Yeah, having to put in the syllabus, all the all the assignments have to be like uploaded. And the this. grades. They have to make a freaking. The ex- they have to upload an Excel sheet. 
Daniel wants his hells no. No. Fuck. I'm about to say, I'm, I'm sure Daniel can confirm. Oh his my wife God. is a teacher just down the street from us, apparently. Oh man. Ah, I gotta, st I'm going to stick to private lessons then. <laughs> Fuck it. Private sewing lessons. You're going to do private sewing lessons? Private that's sewing lessons. I'm not going to. No aids, um, no help. No, she has to. Oh, that sucks. Like she has to do it. All. She has to oh upload everything God. herself. Oh man, that must be really aging out. All these Look. older teachers who have to like freaking probably put on their freaking glasses. Like these sixty-year-old teachers probably like, how do I do all this? Oh yeah. Oh man, that was like. Oh. Fuck. You gotta be up on your shit. You uh, wanna be a teacher? I have to hit nowadays. up my, my friend uh, Sean Curry. See, uh, from his perspective, uh, be a band teacher. I don't know if he has to like deal with that kind of nonsense. You as think well. Sure actually does that? What? I feel like a lot of schools probably do all this yeah. stuff. This is this is uh, 2019. That's true. It's 2019. Yeah, it's gonna be 2020. Yeah. Our, our baby's gonna be born in 2020. Our baby's gonna start going to school. Consultants don't pay themselves. Yep. Damn. That's crazy. Oh, this is a, this is a, a sobering thought. Well, big, thought. huge props to all the teachers. Yeah, all, all the teachers out the there. All the teachers who, out who there. Fight the good fight out Seriously. there. Seriously. I, I went to school, I, you know, probably a little known fact on the podcast here, but I'm sure known fact, well, I'm everyone else. I went to school. I was originally going to be a teacher, but I got swept away into going to work for Nintendo. Take a drink, everyone. Uh, I got swept away into that. I was like, oh, cool, I'm working for Nintendo. I don't need to go teach kids. I'm teaching people about Nintendo. Until that, the, until the, the shine wore off of that, and I, and I left I'm that. I'm teaching people about Nintendo. That, that literally was. That literally was what was happening. I had to go out and do product education. That was what I was doing. I, was apply, I applied my teaching degree towards teaching people about video games. Well, I just wanted to teach people a skill that they can use for life, which is sewing. I was that was my teaching target people that, how to sell That's Nintendo what games. I wanted to do always and forever. And then it was like, can you make my costumes? And that makes more money than teaching anyway. So you know, it's kind of. You are on the hustle, honey. Yeah, you know, I mean, but people still want to learn how to do things. They still want to learn how to. <laughs> and Daniel wants says, "Me too." Then I met the wife. She put a stop to the dream because <laughs> she was probably already teaching. She's like, "No, don't yeah. do it. <laughs> no, don't run like, right away. I'm already, go. I'm already in." <laughs> <laughs> we can't I mean, both be teachers. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Oh, yeah, your wife saved you, man. That's a good wife. Just like th this wife has saved me from a from a life of being a, a supermarket rep and another job that I told you about privately, um, Daniel, but I will not speak hours. about on the podcast. Nope. It's vanity hours. <laughs> and then uh, and I was a Lego rep for a little Strange while. Strange jobs that you uh, could have had. Mm. All the yeah, I, I still get emails from a lot of those companies. I still get, hey, we have a great twenty-hour position for you out here in San Gabriel. Oh, here's a nice twenty-hour. Twenty hours a week. No insurance. No insurance. Go to the supermarket at five a.m. and just stock shelves. Oh man, that's not that nice. rep life. That rep nah, life. Nah, no, 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 no. When I met you and you told me what you did, I was like, no, 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 no. this is not you. Wives save lives. Right there. <laughs> Daniel wants his wife saved lives. That's why I married her. She saved me. Now I got my I got my video game uh video game warehouse job. Mm -hmm. Doing good, trying to like hustle up some other things. Mm -hmm. I got all my side hustles here. Some good things Working going up, on. I'm, I'm hustling things up. Very nice twenty twenty looking. Twenty twenty I gotta mm -hmm. hustle it up because I gotta help pay for this baby. <laughs> hey, bye. This is the, our our little boy right here. Uh, sitting in the oven right here. Mm hmm We gotta do that. And if you wanna help us do that, just like Good old Daniel Wong here. We have a Patreon. Just search for Dre's Geek Philosophy Podcast. Patreon.com. Dre's Geek Philosophy Podcast. If you want to contribute to the yeah. show. If you want thank something you, physical you, back, you can go to Etsy and search for Dre's Geek Philosophy. And I have a whole bunch of Etsy stuff there as well. If you want to commission something from me artistically, whether it's Perler Beats or some sort of drawing, once I get drawing again, uh, you can commission me either through Twitter, through Facebook, or through Instagram. At Dre GP Podcast podcast i can't speak correctly sometimes <laughs> at dre gp podcast so just like my friend miyoshi hit me up on instagram and commissioned some perler beat stuff for me if you want to do that hit me up on any of those social medias if you want something uh, as always you know you do not have to contribute financially to help you can always be like daniel and comment and then judy and uh someone else commented 
Uh, and then uh, James Gian commented mm -hmm. as well. I all, mm -hmm. Thank all of our friends. And Rolando Morales also commented as well. Thank you, those of you who watch live and yeah. comment and like yeah. and uh, just help c keep the conversation going. We love it when we can uh, converse with you guys live via the Facebook Live. It, it, it gets things going and helps fill fill the gaps that maybe I didn't f fill right here mm -hmm. in the in the format. <laughs> um, like I said, we're here every week, Monday night, 8 p.m. live Pacific time if you want to join us live. But you can always watch it on demand. It's available here on Facebook. And I'll have it uploaded onto YouTube. I've been I've been doing a very good job of getting them uploaded on YouTube. And I even added a title card now. There's a title card now. Mm -hmm. uh, you won't get to see our beautiful faces, but our title card, then you click past that and boom, you get to see us in our beautiful glory. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. We're, we'll be here back again next week. Um, other shows, I don't have time. <laughs> I'm trying to find time to do <sighs> to, to crank out more content. Add Dre GP Podcast on, on Instagram. There's yeah. content there. A hundred people liked the photo I put up yesterday. So, hey, you know what? There's more photos coming of all my random Nintendo things from when I work for Nintendo. Hashtag Apparently, random Nintendo thing. Uh, that, that's, that's my hashtag. No one else is posting on hashtag random Nintendo thing. That's, that's my thing now. My <laughs> random Nintendo thing. Thank you for watching again. Thank you for listening. We will see you guys next week. You guys have a good one. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Bye.